Hi, please introduce yourself. Hi, welcome at our booth and welcome to Nuremberg. Um, we are a Candera and we are embedded software development and we are focusing on tools for creating embedded uh, HMIs. And as you can see, we are very well known for cars. As you can see, we are not just cars. We are also developing many other use cases. Good, sir. So there's all kinds of uh, UI advanced systems that you have going on? Right. And you support uh, different kind of chipsets? Right. We try to be hardware agnostic, but I think the chips are very well known from ST. So we, of course, support them. And we have even a few different examples here. For here, for example, the STM32, the development kit. And uh, what, is, what is that used for? Uh, the application is a medical application for a glucose meter to check the blood sugar. So your UIs are um, functional, beautiful, is that the idea? Right, so the idea, as you can imagine, we're coming from a car, it was always very important how the HMI looked. And in recent years, we saw a trend that also other applications, uh, the demand is growing for a better looking HMI, and that's why we thought we will jump on the train, and that's why we created this beautiful wall here to showcase. Can you show some of your other UIs? Your right, other sure. demos let's, here? Let's go on that wall over here. So yeah. here we have a home application, fully functional, of course, with uh, remote control for, for lights, and even a small cat toy here, if you go down, to entertain your beloved. Nice. We can go in a different view. And maybe if we go over here to the next one. This is a rather uh, industrial one. It's a demo for an industrial oven. And the next one here would be a coffee machine with uh, functions to remember who, who likes what coffee. And so you can save your favorite coffee, your favorite style, and drink it then, freshly nice. brewed. I think one rather beautiful here is the, the Threadmill. Threadmill, I think. Just a brand new one. This one running on a Raspberry Pi. Nice. Uh, what goes into designing something like that? Uh, your, your customers can take your tools and they can, uh, they can do what they want? Right, in yes. collaboration with your support and stuff like that? Right, so our main business is licensing our tool. So yeah. customers would, would use it to create their own solutions. But of course, we also can help starting from UI, UX design and to complete uh, projects in the end. And you show the tool, um, what's, a, what's the price? Or what, how does it work to license it? License it. So the tool is a, a seat, the license model is a seat model. So it's per device, um, it comes with a dongle. So in the end, you would plug it in and run it. All right. So it depends how many devices you people sell, is, or um, necessarily. It depends. No, it, the, the tool is per seat, so per developer or a floating model. And yes, there is a royalty, a small amount per device you ship. What are we looking at here? Here do you see a cluster running on a Renesas RK3. And you can see the performance, especially when it comes to 3D modeling. And here you can see, I'm not sure if you can see it on the picture, a mapping of a, of a city while a, a car is driving through, or even here live rendered car model. And on the other screen, you can see then the cluster, which is behind the steering wheel, and also the object here from the IBI in the, in the center. Nice. And lots of discussions here in the Embedded World. People want to speak with you about working with you? Yes, it definitely was far better than last year. It was really busy the last two days. Here now in the last day, it's, you can see it's a little getting a little empty already, people going home. But it's definitely a successful fair here.